Okay. The next thing that I want to open up, and I advise that when you're working with pages that you do this, because it gives you information about what's going on. If you go up to the upper left-hand corner, there is a view icon. In this view icon, I'm going to select page thumbnails. This shows you how many pages are in this template, and it also shows me something else. In a word processing document, Content is separated by sections. So my pages are separated by sections. So for example, if my cover page, it will be one page of a section. My TLC page, will, table of contents, will be one page of a section. When you have clicked on the thumbnail, if it becomes outlined in blue, it is showing you the section. If I click on the second page, it shows me that the second page is outlined in blue and that the remaining pages have a blue outline behind it. That is indicating that those are the other pages of one section. So when you click on one page of a section, the thumbnails shows you all of the pages that are in that section. And it's very helpful in what we're going to do. All right, so in this document, I'm going to have a cover page a acknowledgement page, a table of contents page, chapter one section and chapter two section. So I'm going to insert that content right now. And there are several methods to do this. I'm going to insert a section first. So I'm gonna click on page one. All of the sections are created directly after the page that is selected. So from here, I'm going to go to insert, and choose section. It inserts a blank page. I'm also going to have another blank page for my table of contents. So let's go back to insert, insert another section. And now I'm going to click on the first page of that three page section. I'm just going to duplicate this section. Edit, duplicate selection and that duplicates the entire section. So now I have nine pages. One, cover page. This will be my acknowledgement page, my table of contents, chapter one, and chapter two. So that's how I want to start off. And because it is a word processing file, when you, for example, get to the end of a page, if you add more text, that page will automatically be generated within that section, okay? So what I'd like to do now is go